Hello everyone, thanks for joining me. So in today's video, I'm really excited to bring you, finally, the Pull Up Mate 2 review video. And the reason why I'm excited to bring you this is because I had a viewer ask me about doing this review because they were on the verge of buying this product. And he also said there's no other videos like this on YouTube. So the reason why I'm excited is I'm able to help him and potentially many more, but mine being the first video out there is I'm able to give a really good, full, detailed, honest review that will hopefully help many of you realize what a great piece of equipment this is and get you started on your fitness journey. Before we get into the video though, there is a link down in the description down below. This link will take you to the Pull Up Mate website, but what I want you to do is, and I'd really appreciate it, is if you go and check out any of these products, this one and many more that Pull Up Mate do, and you go and buy a product, please use my link down below because what that does is, that helps me, that helps this channel, it also helps me to keep continue putting out videos like this. So I'd really appreciate if you use the link. Down below, I will be putting discount codes. Um, they do have one going at the minute will allow you to get 10% off. If that one doesn't work, and depending on when you're watching this video, because some of these discount codes are sort of seasonal, there will be one below that that will allow you to get 5% off, but make sure that you put the letters in caps lock to use it. Um, what I'll also do is I'll keep track of any other discount codes that they're doing at the time, and what I'll do is I'll try and edit and update my description so you guys can get the best discount when you come to buy in it to save you guys as much money as possible, which is a sort of a thank you for using my link. Um, so with that out of the way, let's get into the video. So the five things I'm gonna be talking about today, they are, in my opinion, the best things that are about the Pull Up Mate that I have noticed in my six months worth of using it. And obviously over the last like decade of actually doing body weight training, how the Pull Up Mate has allowed me to continue to do that. Um, so, like I said, these are just my opinion. Other people will have different opinions. This isn't the same opinion that is shared by Pull Up Mate, and I haven't been swayed in any way. This is just my honest opinion, and they are going in order of importance. One being the most important, number five being the least important, but still relevant. Um, so, the first one that I wanna talk about is portability. The fact that this is a portable pull-up bar and the reason why that is so important and many of you may not realize how important it is until you're in a situation where you could do with one or you finally got one and you realize how much easier it makes fitness fitting it around your busy schedule and the flexibility that it gives you when it comes to exercising so I'll break it down into a few easy steps, just so if any of the points I bring up today, I wanna to try and reach as many people as possible, try and put as many situation it is, because if any of these points that I bring out today relate to you, please comment down in the section down below, but this is probably one of the biggest points about it and why it's my number one, and it's one of those ones I could easily make a video just on this point, it's that important. Um, but typically when you were doing body weight training at home and you wanted to do a pull up, you were fixed to either mainly two main options, which is a door frame pull up bar, which is, as, it, as the name says and suggests, you are tied to a door frame, and again, depending on what your door frame was like, would determine whether you could even use it. Sometimes it was more on one side to the other, so you had to like come halfway across. It left you very, very little room because of the width of the door frame would sometimes restrict your movement. If you were someone that was literally above five foot five, you would be trying to do a pull up and your knees would be scraping across the bottom of the floor, which would completely put you off. Um, and sometimes you couldn't go too high up. Your grips were restricted to only a few and the width in which you could do was restricted. So they weren't great, especially on a hot summer's day. It wasn't best to work outdoors and you were restricted to just doing that. The other option you had was a sort of a uh, pull-up dip towel, which I've used one of them. They are quite good, but they come with their own issues as well. Once is, once you put it together, which is a pain in the ass, taking it apart is even more of a pain in the ass, but once you put it up, it's fixed. You need a designated area to always have it. So if you're someone who's restricted on where you can work out, it's one of those ones that once it's up, it's tied. If you don't have that space, you cannot use it. Um, a lot of the time as well, the height was a little bit different. It was either too high, so you couldn't do a full range of motion without your head hitting the ceiling, or it was too low and you still had the same problem. Sometimes the bars that came up for you to be able to do dips, or the bit that where you would rest your back on and rest your arms on to do your leg raises would get in the way and restrict your pull-up uh, movement. 
um, and it made it very difficult to attach rings onto. On the door frame pull-up bar, you could attach rings and that would increase the variety of exercises you could do, but still the door frame made the, the movement restricted and if you try to do inverted rows and you did it from a, the wrong angle, it would actually flip and come out. Um, and a lot of the time your parents were complaining to you whether you were gonna be destroying the door frame. Um, so they're the ones that were there and they're the only ones that you had options for. Not everyone was able to do any other pull-ups any other way unless they had a tree in their garden. Finally, the portable pull-up came in the form of Pull-Up Mate. And once you get this, you realize just why wasn't this created any sooner? And now it is, it's sort of a godsend and it's definitely made doing pull-ups and bodyweight training in your home so much easier and so much more versatile. Today, I'm filming in a conservatory because it's better lighting, better sound, allowing me to give you a better quality video. But I pulled, um, set this up yesterday, very, very easy, it took me five minutes, but I was able to bring it here. In, a, in my other previous videos, you may have seen me doing in my garage sometimes where I work out, and then I do it sometimes in my dad's garden. He's got this massive, huge garden, which is literally like a sun trap. So I'm able to take it, put it in there, so when it's really, really great weather, I'm able to work it outdoors and capitalize on that, where the others were, once it's there, it's there, and you can't do it. It's so like that portability of being able to transport this thing anywhere you want makes things so much easier. So if you're someone that has a restricted area where you don't have a designated area where you can work out, let's say it's a spare room, okay, and you have people that stay regularly and you're not allowed to put something up there all the time, set it up, do a workout, once you're finished, take it apart and put it in the bags that come designated and store it away. Easy peasy. If you've got a garage that you want to work in but you can only work out when the car is not parked up in there or maybe in front of it, whatever, do your workout, once you finish, finish it and you're done. Um, the other thing that you have option to is, for instance, if it's a nice day and you have a garden or anything like that, set it up, put it out there. Once you know it's gonna be raining, take it back in, lock it up. Very, very easy. Um, another situation where it's really, really handy is if you're going away on holiday and you're traveling anywhere by car. The reason why this is so important is, I went on holiday to Centre Parks for my birthday in February. They offered fitness, a gym facility, but the problem with it is, is it's restricted. You, I think you had time zones in which you could go, plus the actual stuff that was there was really, really poor quality. And then you have to share what you're doing with other people. So if you're going there to do a specific workout, you're tied if someone else is there, you might have to change what you're doing or wait around. I took mine with me, set it up outside, and I was able to do a full body body weight workout whenever I wanted, and I had that flexibility, and it was fantastic. I was able to do pull-ups every single morning before I started my day. Um, same for you, if you're going away anywhere, you're going to the, um, let's say you're going away to the beach, um, instead of deciding on whether you wanna to go to the beach to do some sunbathing or whatever, pack it away in your car, take it to the beach with you, and you can do a bodyweight workout on the beach, enjoy the sun, and actually have the, be in a position where most people are not fortunate to do, which is working out outdoors and taking advantage of the nice weather that we don't always get here in the UK. Um, the other thing is, and this is another important thing, there are gonna be people out there, some of you that want to try and stay fit, but because of your job, you're constantly traveling, whether you're someone who has to go away for three or four days at a time, you're staying in hotels, Maybe you're a salesman, whatever it is, you don't always have access to working out in a gym. And if you're in a hotel, not all of them have access to gym facilities. And if they do, they might charge you more. Um, whatever that is, like you could take this with you, put it in your car when you travel away, set it up in your hotel room. The majority of them are big enough to do it and you can do a full body workout in your hotel room. It saves you the hassle of trying to find specific hotels that can offer you that. Or when you go and stay somewhere, trying to find a gym that is near your area for you to be able to go and work out. Plus that eradicates the price of you having to find a gym and pay for a day pass or a week pass, which can be quite expensive and it can rack up. Get something like this and you can take it along with you and basically work out on the go wherever you are and it makes things so much easier. Sorry about that guys. Um, also what you can do is, and this is something for more of you professionals out there. If you are a portable PT, so let's say you're someone that, um, turn it off. Let's say you're someone who goes out and does PT sessions in people's homes. Let's say you go and you meet a client in their home and you put them for a workout. Uh, a lot of time you're gonna be restricted on what exercise you can do with the different equipment that you have. If you were to have a, say, a pull-up bar, a portable pull-up bar, something like this, or maybe even the first one, the Pull-Up Mate 1, very, very easy to carry around, only the one bag, that one. You can take this into clients' homes and you have more variety of exercises you can do with these clients. The more variety of exercises you have, the more chance you have 
have of helping these clients reach their goals. And also it gives you more variety and flexibility when it comes to creating their programs and also it stops the program for them getting a little bit stale, which helps with motivation. Also, if you're another sort of PT that likes to work out and do circuit classes, maybe you hire out a hall in a church, maybe you hire out halls and maybe certain like gyms where you have a certain section you hire out for an hour or so and you do classes that way. If you had some of these all lined up, it gives you more option, more exercise choice when it comes to your classes. CrossFit is huge right now and a lot of the exercises revolve around the pull-up bar. Whether you're doing pull-ups, whether you're doing leg raises, even push-ups, lower it down, you can do dips. Again, with this thing, you can flip it on its front and you can flip it down. And these bars you can do for pull-ups, push-ups, you can hang your legs on them and do decline and incline push-ups. So the flexibility you have there is monumental. The other thing as well, look what it's gonna do for your credibility as a personal trainer. Instead of coming up to a gym session, and they might have just kettlebells or a few medicine balls in the skipping room, you turn up to a gym session where someone's got a row of these all lined up, it's going to look a lot better. It's going to give you more choice, more variety. The other thing is as well, the clientele that you're going to be able to bring. Majority of the people that go to those classes um, tend to be women because they're looking just to stay fit, tone up, and you know just work on that. And they like someone that's going to be running them through it and it's good for social things. The other thing why a lot of men don't go to this is men are more focused, typically, not all the time, on building muscle, getting stronger. If you can offer them a position in a class set form where you can get them to build muscle and get stronger, especially like I said with CrossFit being so big at the minute, by being able to provide pull-ups, dips, push-ups, add some rings to there as well. These is gonna open you up to more clientele. So if you're a personal trainer or you know someone who's a personal trainer, let them know about this video, let them know about this product because it can open up the opportunity for their personal training and grow their business and become more professional and I give them more versatility. Um, but that's it for that point. I know that was a long-winded one, but like I said, this is the biggest point and there are getting so many points in here that are bound to reach someone, but how important is the idea of a portable pull-up bar and how it can help so many people reach their fitness goals because the majority of the time people are struggling to find time to be able to fit fitness into the, such of their busy lifestyles where this allows you to work at home and do a variety of exercises on the go and I think that is that, that's what's worth spending the money on. So at number two and this is also a really really important point especially from a PT if you're trying to market this product a lot of people are going to see this product and think okay we've seen people like frank madrano and all these different fitness people on here this is clearly a product that is made for people that are either advanced calisthenic athletes or someone who are already very very strong but i want to make it clear from the get-go you do not have to be able to do a full pull-up or a full dip or a full push-up to utilize this product okay you don't need to be able to do a pull-up to utilize the pull-up mate and what i mean by that is this is a product that can be used from all spectrums depending on experience, fitness, and strength, and skill level as well. You don't have to just be a calisthenics athlete to utilize this. And you can you don't have to just be a beginner, it's everywhere in between. A beginner can gain something from this piece of product. If you're not able to even do a pull-up, this can help you get to the point where you're able to do a pull-up. Um, one of the easiest ways to learn how to do a pull-up is by doing inverted rows, okay? Inverted rows are basically where you're lying down and you're pulling yourself up in a horizontal plane, okay? But if you're not even strong enough to do that, you can hang against this and do vertical pulls. Get to the point where you're decreasing the angle, so that becomes more intense. You can change angle, which makes it more intense. It puts more of a weight on your back muscles till you get to the point where you are literally lying underneath and you're then doing vertical pulls. Depending on what you do with your legs, whether you push them further out and then even elevate them, that's gonna build your back up to the point where you're able to get stronger towards doing a pull-up. Using the pull-up, mate, you can flip it on its back or on its side and use the, hot, the bars to be able to change the angle and do um, vertical pulls or Australian um, push-ups to the point where you can get that strong. You can then, once you get to that point, do eccentric pull-ups or negative ones to build the eccentric strength to be able to have enough to be able to do a pull-up. You can even attach a resistance band over the bar and do assisted pull-ups. The same applies for doing push-ups. If you're not strong enough, do different angle push-ups where you can start against the wall at this angle so you get to the point where you're leaning further over, further over, and to the point where you're already doing a push-up. I prefer that progression than doing, say, on your knees because it doesn't allow you to build the core strength. It doesn't allow you to build um, your legs and your um, glutes in actually creating good stability and having no energy leaks, a strong kinetic chain in doing a push-up, which I think it's better doing it that way. The pull-up, mate, is able to do that. So 
that this isn't just a pull-up thing or a push-up thing. This allows you to have progression and regression in all of these basic core exercises to allow you to a point to be able to get to a pull-up and even further. If you are an advanced calisthenics athlete, okay, this is the one you want to go for because it's going to allow you, if you look at their website, the first one, they don't recommend doing it, but you can do muscle-ups of this product. You can do human flag, you can do front levers, you can do handstand holds if you want to. You can take advanced calisthenics um, exercises and do it in your home. You don't have to go out and do it in a park or a proper gymnastic gym. You can use this in your own home. So this product is something that you can use the whole spectrum. Even if you're a guy in the middle just using them just to build strength and you wanna do weighted calisthenics or body weight exercises, stick on a weighted vest or a dip belt and you can do weighted chin-ups, dips, whatever it is. This thing does lower, flips on its side. If you want to, add some rings to it. That Honestly, the exercises you can do, there are so many you can do. Um, whether you're a beginner or you're advanced, also, Pull Up Mate do a product called Pull Up Mate X, and this is sort of like a diet and workout program that basically, if you're a beginner and you're thinking, yeah, I wanna buy that, but I won't even know what to do, I won't know what exercise I could do, I won't even know where to start. They have this system in place where you're able to show you a couple hundred exercises you can do with this product, how you can um, progress with them, different workouts for different body parts, whether you're a man, whether you're a woman, they even offer diet advice in there, but just from a fitness aspect, if you wouldn't know how to use this thing, there is beginner support on that. So if you do get something like this, there's gonna be so many exercises you can start from not even being able to do a pull-up to lean to the point where you're doing them. And that's the great thing about this product, is it works from the whole spectrum, and it's something I definitely recommend. Don't be put off if you can't do a pull-up, and you're thinking, I wouldn't use it, I wouldn't know how to use it, Use this as a tool to get you there. If you're advanced, use this to progress even further. Um, so that's number two, a big point there. Um, but number three is this is a full body um, piece of equipment. Don't look at this and think, okay, that's just for doing pull-ups. No, there's so many different exercises. Like I mentioned just then, over 200 exercises, you could do this in a, um, a basic form, either regressing it or progressing it. Okay, there's so many exercises that you could do. And like I always say, attach a pair of rings to it and you make even more exercises that you can do. Some of you might be thinking, well, how can you do legs? Well, the way I like to use this piece of equipment is I use it as a way of balancing to do unilateral work. So if I'm working on doing pistol squats, I use it to help me balance myself. If I'm doing Bulgarian split squats, I'll flip it over and use that to put my back foot on and start doing squats that way. I have terrible ankle mobility. For any of you that struggle to get down to a squat, a lot of time it's because people have terrible ankle mobility. One of the ways to test it is just put something underneath your heel to raise it and see if it makes it easier getting down. That can be a sign. So what I do is, the actual bar that goes along the bottom, sort of like the foundation bar, the base bar, I literally just put my heels on there and it allows me to do deep, full, proper squats, but being stable, not like having something like if someone tries to wedge books under there and they're never the same height. Um, this is stable, it's just strong and it's the same height. I can put my, my heels on there and I can do deep squats. So you can use it in every situation. You can do a full body workout. The other thing is as well is, the other thing is they have these things called the dip bar. These are the dip bar attachment and they look a little bit odd. You literally take off the one of the bars and you attach this at the end. And the reason why these are great is because we all have to be aware that all of us are built slightly differently. So the width that I would want for a dip could be different from someone who is broader or someone who is narrower. The other thing is depending on your grip will sort of influence which muscle is doing a majority of the work. If the wider you tend to go, more of the emphasis is placed on the chest. The more narrower you go, more of the emphasis is placed on the triceps. Um, I prefer a more narrow, it feels easier on my shoulder, but I have that option by adding those things. So that's another thing they add in that allows you to do maybe narrow or wider dips. Another thing that they've added in, which I think is something great that not a lot of other bars actually do, and if dips is something that irritates you, this is one way to get around it. So. Number three, like I said, this is a full body piece of equipment. And the reason why this is great is because it's all in one package. It's completely utterly portable. It saves you the idea of having to buy numerous bits of equipment. You don't need to buy this for that, this for that, this for that, for different days that you're gonna be doing. Um, and also storing it as well, different bits of equipment, the price of that and everything else. So the fact that you get this all in one and it's portable, I think that is a huge key point for the pull-up mate. Um, number four, and this is another thing that is very, very important. And that is, this will save you money and time. Um, what I mean by that is, once you buy this, and I quit the gym sometime in January, I thought I wanted to get away from the gym scene, I wasn't interested in doing weights anymore, I wanted to get back into doing body weight training, but I wanted the flexibility of training in my home wherever I wanted, and I came across this. I was spending 30 pound a month going to the gym. Some of you may be spending a little bit less, some of you may be even paying more. 
Think about buying something like this, how much you're gonna be saving every single month from going to the gym. Could be 30 pounds a month for me, so in 10 months time, I've paid this off. If I look after this piece of product and it could last me five, 10, 15 years, um, think about how much you save in the long run. The other thing is traveling to and from the gym fuel, time, getting to and from the gym. That all adds up when I can now come home and I can train wherever I want. If I'm going somewhere different from work, I can pack this in my car and I can train wherever I want. I've got that flexibility, I've got that time saved and that money saved from the gym and the traveling. The other thing that I mentioned before is if you're someone that goes around and you travel a lot, going to different gyms, buying day passes, week passes, picking hotels that have fitness facilities. You don't have to worry about that anymore because you can basically take your gym wherever you go. Like I said, the money that is saved in the long run is gonna far outweigh the initial cost of it. And again, this is just one of them. I think this one's 295. You could get a cheaper version if you wanted to, but that depends on how much you value, okay? So like I said, you're gonna be saving time, you're gonna be saving money. Um, number five, and this obviously is a key and main point for it, but obviously it was at the bottom, so don't think because it's down this low that it isn't a good point, but this is one of those ones that is very, very easy to assemble. Um, let me just show you. So for instance, every single bar is basically, it all lines up with each other and they've all got these little holes that are bored into them. And if you can see this, you have this little rod, okay? And all of these little bars, they line up with each other. And when you get your pull-up mate, every single one is gonna have an instruction on how to put it together. And I guarantee the first time you read that instruction, the first time you put this thing together, you could throw that thing away because it is so simple and so easy to put together. Um, and literally, once you line the bars up, you literally, thread this um, through and then it latches around the bar and it hooks on there. So it'll be, once that goes in, lines up there and it latches on. So it isn't gonna be falling off, you don't have to worry about these rods losing, it literally goes in and it latches round. You'll get a few spare ones when you get it, but it's that simple. So actually putting it together, very, very simple. Taking it apart, very, very simple. It comes in two easy carry bags as well. So you put them all in the bags, they've got shoulder straps, they've got hand straps, so it's easy to carry. The Pull Up Mate 2 comes with two carry bags, the Pull Up Mate 1 comes with one. So for some people that might be a little bit more difficult depending on how you're traveling, what storage space you have, whether you're strong enough to carry two at a time, or maybe you train with a friend, you can share the load that way but that's how easy it is to take apart put together and like i said compared to other pieces of equipment you don't need any tools it literally is what you carry is what you take away you don't need to take anything with you to put it together um, and like i said it's easy to store um, so those are the main five points. Like I said, if any of those points relate to you and any of those things make you think, okay, that is something that's gonna make me wanna buy it. I've heard what I need to hear. Comment down below, let me know what makes you think that was what was gonna make you buy it. Um, and like I said before, make sure you use that link down in the description below to get your thing, because it does help me out. It does help this channel out a huge amount. Um, but I wanna make this a bit more of an honest review and look at a few things that could be considered negative, okay? So the Pull Up Mate 2 here that we have here, um, you're looking at 295 quid here. So for some people, that might be a big chunk of money um, for me I see it as an investment and if you're someone who's already paying for the gym you're gonna earn that money back for me in 10 months if your gyms a little bit more it might even be a little bit sooner so you'll earn that back um, the other thing is well like I said with the traveling to and from the gym and you buying other bits of equipment you get all of it in one you save money that way but you might still be thinking okay 300 pounds is a lot of money to be paying up front I don't have that sort of money and that's fair enough your other option is obviously just going for the pull-up mate one which is still a really really good alternative but it doesn't have these side supporting things which I think gives it a lot bit more stability and the wider frame but it's still a really really great product and it's a very very popular product as well so that is something that you could do and it's about 119 quid if you get it with the, the dip bar attachments that makes it a little bit more money but it's still a really really great product to go for so if it's something like that money is a little bit too much for you consider going for the pull up mate one the other option is and i've had people ask me is it expen like is it the stability of it i've seen sometimes it wobbles sometimes it moves what's it like um i haven't used the pull up mate one i have seen it when some people do do it it does lean a little bit but from what i've seen it's a very very strong product it's a very reliable product, it's durable. I've seen videos even with the Pull Up Mate one where there's been like a couple of women doing pull-ups on it at the same time. So I can guarantee it's a strong product, you're perfectly safe using it. This one I think is a stronger product. It's the reason why I spent the extra money and I use this one because it's got these. When the bar, when you go to do your pull-up, it's more likely to lean this way. Having these here makes it a lot stronger, a lot more stable. The fact that you've got a wider base is gonna make it a little bit stronger. I've done a workout on this where 
two of us were doing pull-ups at the same time. Me weighing at that time was about 85, 90 kilos. He was about 75. So there's a lot of weight that it was taking one go. But I have seen videos where it's been three people on there doing a workout. So this thing is very, very strong, very reliable. And I've used a um, 30 kilo weighted vest on this as well to do sort of like low rep pull-ups. And it took me, it was comfortable. So even when I did that workout where there was two of us on there, we were on an uneven ground, which you tend to get in back gardens with the grass. And it was stable, it was strong. So if you want something that is more stable and stronger, I would recommend going for the Pull-Up Mate 2. But the Pull-Up Mate 1 is still a very strong, flexible, durable product that is still gonna be safe to use. Um, but you've got that fine line between working with something that is gonna be stable to something that's gonna be portable. You have to find that right line. Um, obviously, the more portable you make it, there is more risk of it being less stable. Like I said, this is only held together with the little rods. There's gonna be a little bit of movement in there, okay? So that might make it stable. The bars just slip into each other. There might be a little bit of wiggle room in there but that doesn't mean that the product is not safe it doesn't mean that it's not a good product to go for but you're paying for that portable and um, that for it to be portable so i think they've got the mixer just right and again for the price of what you're paying for especially the pull-up mate one you can't go wrong with that um but that literally is the only negative i mean the only other one you could think of is maybe the pull-up two the fact that it is heavier there's more bars you have to use two bags some people might struggle with I doubt with storage, but maybe traveling in their car if they've got a small car, or maybe just carrying it in general. But I really did struggle to try and find some negatives with this, but that's something that I have seen and I've heard people say, so I thought it was only right to bring that up for you, because obviously if you're gonna be investing the money in this product, you wanna know everything that you can. Um, but that's all I could think of today, guys. Um, like I said, the link down below, please use that if you're gonna be buying one of these products. Um, I'm gonna be doing a lot more pull-up mate workouts maybe more pull up mate reviews i would like to do a sort of more of a deeper comparison between these ones but i know that pull up mate are doing an upgrade scheme at the minute so for any of you that already have a pull up mate and you're thinking and you've watched this video because you're thinking is it worth going for the pull up mate too they do do an upgrade system at the minute where i think it's about 159 quid i think and what they do is they send you the different parts that would be used to turn the pull up mate one into the pull up mate two so you're actually going to be saving yourself about 140 quid doing it that way um, if you're looking for something that is a lot more stable that is a lot more sturdy that can take a little bit more weight that can allow you to do more advanced calisthenics moves like your front levers your human flags and your um muscle ups this one is the way to go. Um, I'm very, very happy with this product. As you can see, it's had a lot of wear and tear because it's literally covered everywhere in chalk, but it's still just as portable. It doesn't really take much longer to put together. So like I said, I think it's a very, very easy comparison between the two. So if you do have the opportunity, you've got the money and you've got the pull-up one, definitely take advantage of the upgrade scheme that they're doing at the minute because I think it is actually a huge value for money considering it's only a hundred of 150 quid, where if you wanted to buy a new one, that's 295. So definitely take advantage of that. But um, if you like this sort of content, more pull-up mate stuff, anything like that, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, consider subscribing. Comment down below any of these points that reach out to you, any of these things that you're thinking, that's something that I've been looking for. I didn't realize a portable pull-up mate could offer that. That's something that I'm definitely gonna capitalize. Please comment down below. I'd love to hear what you think. And if you do buy one, let me know what you thought of it, okay? Um, and if this video was what swayed you towards buying it. Um, but with that out of the way, guys, um, I will see you in the next video.